Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to turn this into a nice quiet running van again again. Van again again. Join me? Good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome back to the Sometimes Builds. Today, I am going to be replacing the muffler and the catalytic converter on this 1988 Volkswagen van again. I think I have some other Govee lights I wanna fix. I need to clean out the inside. All those Govee lights I hung up like two to three episodes ago, they all fell down. Shocking. This has just been sitting out in the driveway, getting crapped on by birds left and right. So we're gonna get this cleaned up a bit get it aired out, but first gotta put this muffler on because I think that is why it hasn't been running right. Um, it's been bogging down. It's really struggling to run with the old catalytic converter and exhaust. I think they were completely collapsed inside, just completely clogged. So went ahead and ordered a non-California catalytic converter and a new muffler. Note to self, I looked on the websites, both Go Westy and like Van Cafe, if you need a catalytic converter and live in California, it was like $1,200. But if you need one that's outside of California, I think it was like 170 bucks. Yeah, fun. So I think I ordered this from Van Cafe. I don't think I ordered this from Go Westy. Let's, let's double check so we know who we're talking about. Oh, my bad, not Van Cafe. The Bus Depot in Pennsylvania, because I'm on the East Coast. So this is generally cheaper and quicker to get things from Bus Depot. So I got the catalytic converter that was $179.95, the muffler, which was $119.95, and a connecting pipe, $79.95, and a tailpipe, $29.95. All in all, and some gaskets. All in all, $461 bucks for this. If it was in California, again, the catalytic converter was like somewhere between $700 and $1,000. It was like mind-blowing. Looks like the stainless steel tip to the muffler. This is a, looks like a Walker direct fit replacement muffler. Hey, it doesn't shake like my last one. Catalytic converter with a plug on it. I did forget to order the O2 sensor. Need to do that. And the connecting pipe, which also has a catalytic converter bung on it right here. I really don't remember ordering all this stuff. I'm a little crazy ordering all these parts. <laughs> they put on the package stuff. I assume. Yep. Sip block bag with both kinds of gaskets in there. The website said pretty much order both. It's like a dollar each. Order both so you don't have to wait two weeks when you've ordered the wrong one. All right, let me get all this trash cleaned up. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get set up under the van. So I haven't got the old muffler off. Going to have to do that. Then we can start bolting on all the new exhaust and it'll be nice and quiet again, even though I do enjoy the V8, which is really like a V4, sounding exhaust. I never drove it around like that, but gonna miss that. All right, let's go into the van. First things first, I need to get this stupid old muffler off. So far, that hasn't... They really make this so it does not come out. Even with the brackets unsnapped, it does not come out. The heat shield is too big. Thank 
got to be kidding me. That was the biggest pain just to force it off at the end. It's also very heavy. It must be a, close to original. Of course, I didn't order any bolts. So, of course, we have all these pieces here. The cat, the collector pipe, and the muffler and the tips. We're going to try and get these on. Temporary bolts in. Okay, so I'm missing some stuff. Let's take a look under here. I got the new muffler installed right here. This was a pain. Um, I had to take this one off to get the old one out and really in the end I just took a sludge hammer and I whacked it and it eventually popped all the way in. So that's in there now. Um, I have, that's the collector pipe down there. There's a pipe that attaches to that and then comes around here to where the catalytic converter is. So I forgot the order. I got gas because I forgot to get the bolts and there's a special threaded bolt that goes on the uh, tailpipe down there. So I placed the order for that. I also forgot the order of the O2 sensor. So I need, I need to put that on before the catalytic converter goes on here. You know, ironically, there hasn't been any mice in here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all the bins out of here. I'm gonna clean it up just to double check, but I haven't, I have a camera in here. I have not seen any mice. So that's been, that's been great. Until I park it in here, I'm gonna leave it in here overnight and then I'm sure we're gonna get all the surprises. So just to go through all of my inventory again in the high heat these lights didn't stick so we're gonna have to get some screws and self tappers and zip them things in the ceiling some of them stuck approximately three out of three six nine twelve so we're gonna use the magic of um, YouTube and we're gonna jump to that when I have all the right parts and go all right we're back it's the next day or so here um, so all these lights fell down up here. Shocking with the double stick tape that it came with. Wasn't that great. So I got an idea from my buddy Fred and he has a really nice van by the way. Check this out for a second. Y'all let me know if you want me to go check that van out and do a little video tour of it. It's pretty sweet. He hand built it all. Anyways, he recommended that I try using a glue gun, hot glue gun, to help attach some of these areas here and here. If that doesn't work, we're gonna try some high strength Velcro, but just something to get it to stick. I'd rather not put screws in the roof. I'd rather not put screws in the, uh, in the plastic if I don't have to. Um, I don't wanna like permanently change things on here too much, but we're gonna try the hot glue gun, get that warmed up right now and see how that works. Oh, and today the, uh, um, exhaust bolts and gaskets and O2 sensor are coming from Bus Depot. So that'll be coming a little bit later today. So we're going to put the muffler on later too. It's nice having Bus Depot one state away. Things come real quick. All right, let's get this hot glue gun warmed up and get some of these lights back. So these are all the sticks that fell down before. So we're going to get them reattached and turned on and plugged in. I don't exactly remember how many go up here. Oh, okay, so it's three. So this set here hasn't fallen, so I'll use that as like a test. You know, we'll just shoot some hot glue. Do we run out of hot glue? I need to put another stick in. Duh glove on because I need to be able to smooth this stuff out. Ah, that's hot. I mean, this seems to be okay. We're going to do it the wrong way and do it all at once. 
I think what I'm going to do is stick some glue. I didn't just run out of hot glue again. On all of these points, and then a little more back on this one. And then we very quickly bring it together, bring it up here, stick it on. And hold it till it stays on. I think that's what was intended. And I also stuck it, I stuck it to the, uh, the Velcro, not the plastic itself. Yeah, and then this can get... Okay. Next step would be to um, let's see if it actually works. <laughs> you know, after we hot glued it, we can't get it down anymore. Great time to see if it works or not. Now it's this big connector here. Okay. We got lights again. This also lets me see a lot of the hot glue I put up in there, at least on this side, isn't doing anything. So that's just going to require more hot glue. You know, it's not half bad. If it stays up there, it's not half bad. It's much better than putting a thousand screws in this plastic and ruining it forever. Hot glue, just get it hot with a heat gun and it'll pop right off again. So, that's half of it done. Now we gotta do the other half. All right, see the wires hanging here? Now we gotta do the same thing for this side. I do wanna plug it in though. My whole thing runs off of a Jackery, so, because I want it to be portable, take it out, recharge it, and not have it be permanent in here. So, front plugged in. That. Well, shoot. Do it like that. And slam it right there. I think this looks like trash. What? This hot glue idea. I mean, it's sticking. As long as you don't look at it. This didn't work half bad. Good idea, Fred. Only thing I wish I had was a um, more industrial um, glue gun. I get like four trigger pulls and then it needs to sit and warm up again. So if I had something a little bit better, probably would have been a little bit easier, but. I mean, all right, I'll give it to you, Fred. That was a good idea. Good idea. I mean, Based on how it's mounted, that one I need to fix. That looks, I don't know, that's not great bends. But overall, I think this is gonna hold. I appreciate it, Fred. Um, I'll come back and curse your name when it falls in about a month, but we'll see, we'll see. So far it worked, just, just hot glue strings everywhere. And you know, if you, don't, if you don't look at it, it's all right. But for like a 20, less than $100 solution for light bars up and down the, the ceiling, it's pretty good. Appreciate it, thank you. All right, so we got these lights reinstalled again. I should mess around with this stupid thing or just take it off, it drives the... Hey, look at that, problem solved. Who needs it anyways? It just, it just prevents you from cutting your head open, whatever. So we got the lights done, got it cleaned out in here. I'm gonna put all the camping stuff back in here to get it out of the garage. And now we're just waiting for the bolts and the gaskets to come for the muffler. We'll put that on. Drive around and see if it runs better. I'm, based on how it's running with no exhaust on it, I think it might be better, but we'll find out next. Well, hey there, are you looking to support the Sometimes Builds? Check out sometimesbuilds.com for gray hats, silver hats. I personally like the gray hat, you know I wear it all the time. And we also have t-shirts here that say Sometimes Builds on the front and then Sometimes Builds on the back. Right, and we also have beanies for, you know, the cold season. So check out sometimesbuilds.com for some sweet swag. 
All right, we're back. It's been a few weeks. So I started putting the exhaust on, got the old exhaust off. I think in this video, I used super glue to super glue the, um, the Govi lights to the roof of the van, the ceiling of the van. I'm gonna take it back. Not thanks, Fred. It didn't work out well. I tried, but check this out. Kinda had a feeling super glue, or not super glue, hot glue. I kinda had a feeling hot glue was probably not gonna work. I'm probably just gonna need to screw these into the plastic. As soon as it got hot out here, the hot glue kinda turned into hot putty. And you can see way back there, all the lights fell down. All of these lights fell down. Magically, this side's hanging on still on the right passenger side. But other than that, they didn't make it. So thanks, Fred, but let's try another option. All right, so I ordered these from Bus Depot because they're right up in Pennsylvania. So very helpful, which they came, I think, in about two days. It might have been next day. I think it was two days. They came in two days. I should have ordered. We'll see what's in this package. I believe I ordered all the bolts. There was like a bolt kit, just all the bolts you might ever need for an exhaust. And then, um, yep, that's what this is. This is exhaust mounting kit for the Vanagon. You can see right here, this is the part number. Pretty much even from the headers all the way out to the uh, muffler, they give you all the bolts you would ever need in this. So I've got a bolt kit and I have no idea what this is. Oh, another gasket. Oh, 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 oh. This is the gasket and the bolts for the tailpipe. Why, when you buy an exhaust or a muffler, it doesn't come with it. You have to buy it separately, so now you know. So we got that to put the tailpipe on. We have a bolt kit, bolt everything together. I have gaskets for all the other pipes and side pipes and turn pipes and cat. Oh, I also have the O2 sensor that came separately. I completely forgot I ordered that and it just showed up. And I was like, what's this O2 sensor for? But where did I put it? I swear it's clean-ish in here. Clean-ish. These are the two sticker offerings available on sometimesbuilds.com. This one is free, it'll ship with every order. This one is listed separately, you can find it on there. And then if you buy one of these, I'll throw one of these in, of course, a couple of these. I got, I got lots of these. These, not so many. Sometimesbuilds.com. There it is. I took it out of the packaging. I was looking for packaging. This is the Denso O2 sensor for the Vanagon. So first thing, we're going to take the catalytic converter and this new O2 sensor, get them together because I do not want to do that while it's under the van. Maybe I'm just looking for ways to avoid going under the van because I don't want to get covered in dirt. You know how it is. Oh, even comes with some... Uh, Anti-seize, copper anti-seize, that's, that's nice. Good length on the cable, probably more than needed. Two connectors on here, I know, oh yeah, it did have two. That's what the O2 sensor looks like right here. Standard O2 sensor. So we'll take some of this copper anti-seize and put it on the threads. And likely we're gonna find this on my clothes. I'm gonna find it in bed at night. I don't know what it is about copper anti-seize. It gets everywhere. So you see here, I'm just gonna put a little, just a little bit on the threads, just to keep them so they don't seize much. We know they're gonna seize, they always seize. Now that I've thoroughly made a mess all over myself, let's get this bung uninstalled from the O2 sensor or from the catalytic converter and we'll get this O2 sensor threaded in. There we go. Pretty sure it was on the O2 sensor. Kind of the problem with doing projects way at, or doing projects over the course of many weeks versus doing it all at once. I don't remember if it came off the O2 sensor or this this mid pipe here has a bung for a uh, sensor. I don't think it was on that though. I, I think it was on the O2 sensor. Or I keep saying O2 sensor. I think the O2 sensor was on the catalytic converter. So. That's that. Remember the old one was like a rattling can. This is 
This is good. Keep those together. Here's the washers for that. Looks like we're about to go get under here. <coughs> Joy. Remember, if you ever see carpets, carpet squares available for cheap, grab them. It's much better than laying on the dirty concrete. And you can lay on a dirty carpet. And then if you spill anything on them, it costs you a dollar. Oh well, get another one. These, I got these for free, so. Of course, this exhaust bolt kit comes with all of the, the washers, the donut washers, comes with everything necessary. So I didn't need to order those separate ones, but whatever. Oh joy, oh joy, we're back under the van. Maybe, hopefully, for the last time. Y'all looking pretty far away. You can't see what's going on over here. Come, come here, come here a little closer. Anyway, so I, I forgot to hit the record button again. So I got the three bolts. These are like the second from the largest size back there with washers on each side and nut. Got it just tight enough so I can maneuver it around. I had to go back and watch my, my, my video on when I took this off and found that the O2 sensor is upstream. So it sits next to this, this pipe right here. So I'm gonna get that ready for there. I'm finding out which bolts I need for this. So I'm gonna need three on this side, three on that side. I'm gonna use the gaskets that came with the um, catalytic converter, not this donut gasket. And get a couple more of these bolts ready. And we will fit the catalytic converter on. Maybe it would have been easier to put this on from the beginning. I don't know. And then put it all on at the same time, maybe. Got one on, now it'll at least hang by itself. Nope, oh, drop the washer, where'd it go? I don't know. I guess that's one way to do it too. It's loose, I can literally spin it and do it on the ground. So you can see here, we have the three bolts, got the gasket in the middle, the O2 sensor is upstream, so that means it's closer to this um, L pipe. And then I have the L pipe back there, Kind of loose fitting so I can move it around. Now I just have to connect the catalytic converter to this muffler and we are one step closer. Okay, same deal. I'm gonna get three of this size bolt. Throw some washers on these. Get the gasket ready. And then we're gonna come down here You know what would be great to have? A lift. Although then I'd be complaining that my arms are completely in the air, so I don't know. Grab another washer, grab another nut. So I think, washer, nut, washer. I might block y'all. I might have to put my knee up here to um, push this exhaust up. I'm going to have to, so stand by. Somehow I forgot to count, so I'm using my knee to hold this exhaust up a bit. And then get this bolt down there. So I think I'm gonna use my wrenches and work backwards. I'm gonna get this tight from the muffler to the cat.
and then I'll work my way back. Comes the fun part, getting up on top of this one. One might say, oh, well, you should have just put the whole thing on together and then, and then put the whole exhaust in from the top. Well, that would not have worked. Because this muffler does not like to go in cleanly. As you saw, I had to hit it with a hammer. Got that on there, now I can just come back and do these other ones. Oh yeah, we're going to cheat a bit with this one. Yep, we are using the impact driver. Probably should have used it on more than one, but I forgot about it. One left. One left, one left, one left. Just got to get the wrench around it, and then we'll send it. Oh, that's tight. That's tight. All right, so you can see there, that's been attached to the very janky old, like, combiner pipe. And I got this zipped down here. This bung is closed. Catalytic converter right here. Bolted to the muffler right there. Still got to put the exhaust tip on it. I'll probably do that now. I got the basic exhaust tip, not that chrome one. And then it comes with a bolt. These are nice and fun and threaded. That will sit there. I'm laying on the other bolt. It's the only thing with a sticker on it. All right, we got enough of the stickers off. And the always fun one up at the top. I forgot the exhaust gasket. <sighs> All right, let's try this again with exhaust gasket on. All right, now we can do this for reals. Y'all have that friend that just sends you constant Instagram reels, like 20 a day? Well, I do, and his name is Josh. And my pocket keeps vibrating because Josh keeps sending Instagram reels. I eventually watch them. I do, I eventually watch them. All right, and last step will be to get this exhaust strapped down. I'm thinking I wanna put it on this one. I only have one right now. I only have one, I should put it on Oof. the furthest. My pocket vibrated again. That would be Josh sending me a message. I used to think it was my ring camera going off, but nine times out of 10, it's Josh sending me an Instagram reel. All right, O2 sensor installed. That little bendy pipe installed. Now I just have to fish. Oof. Now I just have to fish that cat wire up through here and plug it back in. Y'all should check this out because that was that was fun to find after I had lost it. So you see down here, this is on the left side, driver's side. Way down there, you see these two connectors right there. That little metal clip has to go back in, see where the two points are? 
that little metal clip has to slide back on there is after you connect that and then the one to the left. They both connect right there. Now I think we're good to uh, test it. The keys are still in it. Um, we'll see if it has a massive exhaust leak where those broken bolts are. And we'll be quiet. Let's find out. And it might run better actually. It might. Because the exhaust was pretty clogged up before. Wow. I can, I can actually hear the engine. I haven't heard that in a while. It sounds a lot better. Sounds like something's moving around, but I'll take that. Now let's move this thing out, get it outside. I don't want to breathe all this crap in. Definitely misfiring a bit. It's quieter, obviously quieter, but come check this out. Maybe y'all can help me decide what do I need to look at next and see the tack. Definitely seems like it's misfiring. I don't know if I should look at spark plugs first. You have an idea of what, I, what area I should look at first to help this misfire. The whole thing is kind of shaking. But yeah, let me know what I should look at next because I'm used to Subarus, Toyotas, some American vehicles, not many. This is still new territory. I'm not comfortable with the engine it's not enough to be like, that's it. Even though I know they're all the same, but I know these are these are special. So y'all know what I should look at next or where I should start before I just start throwing money and throwing parts at it, you know. Load up the parts cannon, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna shoot some uh, spark plugs and injectors. I don't know, I don't know where to start. Um, let me know where I should go. Remember, I've replaced the entire fuel system, replaced the entire cooling system, now I've replaced the entire exhaust system. And as you, as you can hear, it's um, rough. So, if you have any ideas, let me know. Get that down in the comments below. Um, of course, I always check those, always reply to those. I learn more down there than I do from like YouTube videos or Google. Y'all have been amazing. Um, and then if you have any ideas on should I take, should I take these Govi lights apart and put a self tapper in them and zoop, right up there so they're there forever? Because hot glue didn't work. Oh, you probably want to hear it. Definitely a lot of grease blowing off of this exhaust right now. Oh, and the paper's on fire that was on the uh, exhaust. That's what's burning. Just a little fire. It's all good. It's all good. Just a small fire. It'll smoke out. It'll be all right. Yeah, everything will be fine. It smells like fireworks went off in here. Oh, look at that. What a nice sight. That would be the uh, plastic labels that I didn't take off the mid pipe and the catalytic converter burning off. 
it'll be all right. If you like this kind of Vanagon content, let me know down below. Um, I know it's about monthly cadence for these Vanagon videos. I want to try and do more. I want to try to do more camping videos. But spring just started. We're entering summer soon, and it's been a lot of outdoor projects. And geez, this thing sounds rougher and rougher. Please let me know if you know where to go next with this. Um, yeah. See you next time. Peace. <laughs> Sometimes builds.com.